Hey there everyone, this is Danielle taking a first thoughts look, first impression, video, make, I forgot to figure out what I was going to say. Um, anyway, I'm going to play Ukulele in the Impossible Lair, um, which I don't know much about. I've heard it's better than the first game. Uh, it's also, which is good because I had a lot of problems with the first game. You may remember I did an actual, like, a review video where I was complaining about it a lot. Uh, this one is a side-scrolling platformer rather than a collectathon style platformer, I believe. Um, beyond that, I'm not really sure what to expect, so let's head on in and have a look at it. Okay, we've got the same little loading thing in the corner that we had in the first game. That looks familiar. Progress is saved automatically, they're not power off and save is being displayed. Uh, there's a book. Playtonic games, there's Yuka and Laylee getting sucked into a book, or... They've been sucked into a book and now they're... Dancing? I don't know. <laughs> Yuka, Laylee and the Impossible Lair, L and R to start. Okay. Um, another loading screen. I'm getting the impression there are good bees in this game as well as evil bees, which I think is an improvement because B is trans and I love bees. <laughs> Whereas in the first game, the bees were all enemies and they were working for capitalism and all that. Is that Kazooie at the bottom there? What the heck? In, in, in the, like, bottom right corner of the middle picture, you can see, like, a, a red bird looks like Kazooie in this game. That, that shouldn't be happening. This is, this is, this is the game that they made because they couldn't make a Banjo-Kazooie game. <laughs> Whoa, we've arrived in the Royal Stingdom. Okay. Okay, so there's capital B. It's the dynamic duo. <laughs> capital B, we're here to take you down again. Yuka and Laylee, you're here. Help me stop Capital B. He's created a B mind control device. The hive mind. Ah, uh, get it? Get it? Hive mind? Sounds fancy. Should we be worried? Yes, he will use it to enslave all the bees in the Royal Stingdom. The last thing Capital B needs is a larger workforce. I love to listen to you lot drone on, but I've got worlds to conquer. Get it? Drone? It's type of bee. <laughs> Boy, that nearly hurt us. <laughs> I'm just warming up. Quick, this way. Press B to jump and look out for traps. Alright, Laylee. Let's go help Queen Phoebe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we can't get back to the tome. We're trapped. Uh, let's see. I can jump with B. I can move around with either the D-pad or, you know, the D-pad-like thing that the Joy-Cons have. Or I can use the analog. It does have actual analog control. If I tell it this a little bit, I move just a little bit. So using the analog stick probably makes more sense. Uh, I can jump once. I don't have a double jump or anything yet. Uh, I have a couple of different attacks already. They look pretty cool. Uh, let me see. ZR makes me do that. L and R, R also makes me do that. Looks like they're going to do the same thing. A button does nothing. X does nothing. Y is the attack button. B's jump. Uh, the right analog does nothing. Minus is pause. Plus is also pause. They do the same thing. Okay, let's get going. <laughs> Just thought I'd, you know, explain what the controls are because you can't see my, my controller.
Okay, so we've got these uh, one-way platform sort of thingies. Jump and grab that rope. Uh, we've got boxes here. So yeah, this is clearly a side-scrolling sort of platformer, rather than the... more, um, open-worldy collectathon sort of game we had before. Not a problem. Ah, Boris, my favourite employee. Yuka will never get past you. Hmm... No, you bashed Boris! <laughs> yeah, we bashed Boris, alright. Can I... Yeah, I can just roll into there. Try this crushing defeat. Um... Roll attack to squeeze through small gaps, yeah. Easy peasy. Missed again, capital P. Ah, uh, get it? Because <laughs> it sounds like, like you were in. Uh, even a stubborn ape could why why roll and then oh I see what they're doing get it why roll and jump in midair to make long jumps like in Donkey Kong Country they're referencing Do Donkey Kong Country that's why it said stubborn ape because that you could do that in that game indeed you needed to in a lot of places hi Phoebe Great, you're here. I've rallied my battalion shield to help us. Drat, the battalion shield. That sounds useful. But let's see it handle this. Grr, time for B enforcements. <laughs> let's see your battalion cope with real firepower. Oh dear, we'll never get past that, alive. Do you really need Capital B defeated? Maybe he'd be a good ruler? Fear not, you chickens. Borrow my battalion shield, I'll take all the hits for you. Take them and stop that creep. Okay, so we have a battalion shield now. Whoa, we're all powered up. Come on, Yuka, let's test it out. Onwards. Yeah! <laughs> okay, I assume. Okay, so when I've got bees flying around me like this, I don't take damage from stuff. And you get temporary invulnerability. Right. I imagine I'll run out of bees if I keep getting hit, so I should be careful. I'm guessing that's how it works. Uh... Curse that B Italian shield. It's about time I got my own. Hang on. Actually, I'm not sure I'm losing bees when I get hit. Like, it looks like I am, but I, I don't seem to be running out. Cheaters, you wouldn't have made it this far without your invincibility life hack. But you're forgetting something. Time for me to activate the hive mind, yoink. Oh no, I beat Italian shield. He took it using the hive mind. Thanks for warming them up. These B Italian shield guards work for me now. Mwahahaha. It tickles. I'll use the B Italian and imprison what I don't need. No. Now it's your turn to be mind controlled, Queen Fleeby. Prepare to be a mindless drone. Can we protect her? Can we do anything? You monster! Drat, out of power. Wait here while I recharge my staff. Now enslave the royal stingdom. It's up to you now, Yuka. Go kick his behind! 
But be careful, you have no B Talion this time. B. A boss door. Let's just press up to enter and kick his stingy butt. Okay, okay, so... I'm more or less getting into the groove of things. It, it feels very Donkey Kong Country-esque, which is appropriate since Banjo-Kazooie was sort of... and Donkey Kong 64 was sort of the same game, and Donkey Kong Country preceded that, and yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I phrased that right, but hopefully you get what I'm trying to say. Uh, now the hive mind is recharged, I can whoop your butts! We've beat you before and we can do it again! You won't be so lucky this time. Brace yourself, here I come! Um, can I attack him? Not like that. Oh no! Okay, so uh, I you I I um I lose Laylee when I get hit, but if I get her back, I'm okay by the looks of things. Interesting. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to attack Capital B just yet. Um, I've tried a bunch of different things. <laughs> I don't know what the timing is. Uh, well, that's not good. Uh, well, that's not good. Do we get another try? Um, I I thought maybe I could reflect the bolt he shoots out by using like one of my attacks, but that didn't seem to work. Maybe I meant to just jump on him. I don't know. You don't really jump on enemies in normal ukulele, but you do in Donkey Kong Country. So maybe that's what you do in this game. Kind of wish it had explained a little bit more how this first boss battle is supposed to work, honestly. Um, also, this is taking a while. I mean, hmm. Like, seriously. Uh, I This is the area I'm currently in. It shouldn't need to reload that much stuff to put me back into the same place. Oh. Oh, okay, I see. I'm not supposed to win the fight. Oh, okay, okay, I get it now. Quick, don't just lie there. You must return to the Royal Stingdom and stop Capital B. Ugh, can't we call it a draw? He's powering up the hive mind, which allows him to control all the bees in my world. He'll be able to rule my entire royal stingdom if he does that. But that impossible lair is impossible. <laughs> we don't stand a chance without your B-talion protecting us. Hmm, I think I can help with that. If I can pull out the chapters with the imprisoned B-talion, then you can go rescue them. Stand back. Okay, so the fact that the boss battle was was so difficult was intentional because you're not supposed to win it. You're supposed to get kicked out like this. It worked properly. Interesting. I like I, I do like when games do that. The original Paper Mario does that. Uh, you have to fight Bowser near the beginning and you cannot possibly win. And the game actually crashes if you use cheats to try to win. It's amazing. You did it! Quick, don't just lie there! Ugh. Right, let's start by rescuing a B-Talion member from this chapter. Leave it to us, Queenie. We got this. Okay, so... We got a bit of a hub world sort of thing here. Um... I don't know how much flexibility the game's going to give us, but... Yeah, we can move around in sort of three dimensions. We can't jump very high, which is a bit annoying. Tweet. Well, I definitely have to go into this this level first to do anything. I think I could go back to the final boss and try to fight. I just can't really win with the equipment I have. 
The first of my battalion is inside that level. Please rescue them. Chapter 1, Capital Causeway. Okay, so, yeah, that's the level select. It's kind of like, um, kind of like Mario 3D World. It looks a bit similar to that. Um, in terms of design. Also, Kirby Star Allies had a map screen kind of like that. I don't know how much gameplay there'll be on the map screen. Uh, I guess we'll see once we play through more of the not map screen parts of the game. Uh, what's that? Is that like a checkpoint or something? I feel like maybe. <gasps> yes, feathers! Yeah, I think it's probably a checkpoint because it's photographing me every time I walk past. This is the first real level of the game. Can I jump on enemies? I can jump on enemies. I thought I could. Okay, so there's five of those hidden in the level. Yeah, this is giving me a lot of Donkey Kong Country vibes, and that's a very good thing. I wonder if we still have to collect them to buy things, or if it's more like... Like a, you know, get a hundred, you get a life kind of thing. I don't think this game has limited lives, but maybe it does. I don't know, let's just watch and see what happens. What's this bell do? These visuals are nice. It's very pretty. What the heck? What's going on? Oh, I meant to jump on that one, okay. Those are clearly inspired by the Ghost Riders from the first game, because they have the same, like, basic idea, except that they're little quills instead. <laughs> and it looks like they just reward you with money and stuff. Uh, use item to throw an object. Okay, so I can hold this in my mouth, and spit it. And it does damage, so that's like a barrel from Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> what is that? There's some quills up there, which I would like. I can reach them. Maybe if I backtrack a bit, the barrel might come back. Or the, you know, thing that's not to a barrel. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay, we've got cannons. Very, uh, Donkey Kong Country-esque cannons. All of their flowers. <laughs> yeah, this is a very similar game to Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> and I'm very excited about that, because that game is good. <laughs> Boss door? Just like a end of level door? Or... Looks like it's just like a sub area. Some twit left a coin here. Let's grab it. Okay, so we have more than a hundred of these, and they haven't like turned into lives yet. So I'm guessing they do something else. I don't know what yet, what they do yet though. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay, so we got one of these, but. It's I feel like I can probably hit that flower that's spawning those enemies and make something happen, but I'm not sure how I would go about doing that. Like that? Does that do anything? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Yeah. 
Might have been a mistake. Is this like a reset door? Please be a reset door. No, it's a door that locks itself. Okay. <laughs> um, that's what the point of that is, but alright. I can see a platform up there, but I can't reach it now because I've like broke those crates. So I guess let's keep going. Oop. I'm definitely getting a lot of these quills, and I don't know what they do yet. <laughs> Oh no, Laylee! Okay, whew, got her back. Love you, Laylee. You're very precious to me. I feel like stuff should probably respawn if you go away, but it doesn't seem to, which is annoying. Also, you build up quite a lot of speed by like rolling forward a bunch, which is pretty cool. Also very Donkey Kong Country-esque, actually. What does this bell do? I've seen a few of those, and they don't seem to do anything. Um, is this going in the water? Okay, so I can swim. Swimming controls are pretty good. Pretty smooth. And, and you're not slow. You were very slow in the original looking on country when you were swimming, but this game is good. Buddy Slam with BL. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if I had to unlock that or something. Missed a few there. That's okay though. There's a slug. Now there is a shell just sort of sitting there. Can I grab it? I can. It's mine now. I don't know what the bell does. <laughs> I am liking the look of this. Like, it's an extremely different game to the first ukulele, but, you know, the first game had so many problems for me that the changes are making this really, really good. <laughs> uh, can I go down there? Hmm, doesn't look like it. Maybe I can come back. Uh, I can see some spiky things down there, but we don't want to go down there. got away. Or oh, feather person, I don't know. The, the feather that was flying around and dropping feathers. You know the one. <laughs> There's the bee Italian. let's smash him free. Let's go over here first. Okay, now let's smash him free. The Italian rescued. Stage clear. Results. Uh, okay. Well, we missed one of the coins. I think I know where that was, but we might come back later. Okay, so Buzzland is the name of the B Italian we rescued, I think. Oh, there's a map. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's a little tent there with some music coming out of it. Alright. Wonderful, you saved a bee Italian. 
That's one extra hit you can take inside Capital B's impossible lair. You could try defeating Capital B again with help from the rescued B Talion. Or you could search for more chapters in a quest to raise the entire B Talion army. And remember, you can attempt the impossible lair as many times as you like. Come speak to me if you'd like to know more. Good luck! What do you think, Laylee? Attempt the impossible lair again? Or go searching for new chapters to save more B-Talion? Whatever we do, let's do it quick. I want to be home in time to watch cartoons. Big mood. Tweet! Off on an adventure, are you? Don't let this crate get in your way. Alright. Yeah, that's Kazooie. That, that bird is, is designed like Kazooie. <laughs> what does this little tent do? Can I do something with it? Doesn't look like it. Is this where, my bita where the Battalion are living? Maybe? Hmm. Uh, let's go past the crate. Hold R and move the drag crate. Quack! I can get what's in this chest now. It's more quills. I don't know what they do yet, but that is still cool. There's a switch here. Use wider tail whip or roll when running. Brock! Hey, Pagey! Hi, Pagey! What's the switch do? Oh, it moves that door down. Cool. Can I swim? Yes. Hey, I know you. You were in the other game. Did you know? My buddies and I are hiding around with tips and clues to share. They won't all be as generous as me, though. Some might charge quills. I guess so quills are working our, our money, like in the other game. But there's an unlimited number of them in this game, I think. Uh, so it's more like Odyssey than like... um. Banjo-Kazooie, for example, which had a finite number of, of quills. I like it. Uh, I think it's an unlimited number of quills we're looking for in this, in this version, by the sounds of things. Guessing we'll be able to open that later. Let's just do. Uh, I guess we can flip that in either direction. Hey, it's Trouser! Hi, friends! Oh no, it's Trouser. Keep an eye on your wallet, Yuka. Boy, Trouser, your stupid gate is blocking our progress. Oh, you mean this? Oh, that's just a paywall. <laughs> yep, my latest business idea is sure to make me millions. We need to pass to find more B-Talion troops and defeat Capital B. We're on urgent royal business. Ah, why didn't you say? Of course, for royal customers like you, we'll open the paywall for only a fraction of the Twitcoin cost. What a crook. We know you're- we know where your only customer is, Trouser. If you're running short, I hear there are lots of Twitcoin hidden in those scattered chapters. Do you want to unlock this paywall for one Twitcoin? Uh, not yet, I'm going to go back to the level. Be gone, thrifty. Time is money. Come back when you're ready to spend Twitcoin. Okay, I'm going to go into this level first. Chapter 2, Factory Fright. Read about rescued bee Italian bees in the overworld menu. Okay, I will when I get back to the overworld, but for now, I'm doing a level of this video game. Taking a hit, catch Laylee before she flies away. Oh, the bell brings Laylee back. That's what it's for. Okay. I didn't realize because I hadn't lost her, because I'm good at games. <laughs>
Uh, well, this looks scary. Um. Uh, um. Yeah, that's why the bell's got little bat wings on it. It's the it's the Laylee bringing bell. Okay, I get it. So it's basically the DK barrel. Ow. Laylee, no, come back. I'm glad you can get her back and she doesn't just leave. Like Diddy did in... Donkey Kong Country, when you got a hit, you just sort of ran away, and you were stuck without a buddy. It's pretty annoying. I wonder if we can use the B-Talion in, in normal levels, or if it's always just one hit. I guess we'll see. I still, I'm still assuming that these camera things are checkpoints, because I haven't actually done anything yet. Um, how do I... Dang it. Laylee, get back here. I can't reach that. I need to like jump on it. Maybe I need to come in from a different direction? Hmm. Let's keep going this way and see if there's some way to get up there. Well, I can get a fruit. Let's take this with me. Oh, I can't jump back up. Yes, I can. Well, I'm out of fruit now. Um, I only had the one. <laughs> hmm. That. Ha ha ha. Is it respawn? No. Hmm. I'm confused. Ow! Lily, no! Uh, seriously? Oh my goodness. Give me another one of them little crowning feathers, yeah. What did do? Laylee! Laylee! Oh my goodness. So yeah, it's kind of Yoshi's Island esque in that you can recover if you get hit, which is nice. Also, kind of Sonic esque if you think about it. A bit closer to Yoshi's Island, I think, since you just have to touch the flying friend to recover. <laughs> Haven't found many of those coins yet. <laughs> oh, here's one. Okay, yeah, I missed one. I where it is. Checkpoint, I think. I haven't died yet, so I don't really know if there's checkpoints or something else. That door is locked and requires a key to open. Heck, it sure is. What's down here? Well, there's the key. That's what we're looking for. Take the key to the locked door. Alright. I've got to carry it. Ah! No! Okay, if you take a hit, you lose the key, so let's avoid taking hits if we can. I guess you got to carry the key in your mouth. That makes sense, I guess. Sort of. <laughs> I guess there's another one of the coins in here. Got to dodge some stuff to reach it. But that's pretty normal. There we go. 
Can I kill these guys? Like, if I... Mm, doesn't look like it. I can stand on them, though. Is that? Oh no, that's just a wall. I thought there was a passage there, but there isn't. There is a passage over there, though, which we'll be getting to shortly. Wait for the grind to go down. There we go. Pretty brave has been to make a spooky factory the second level in the game. I guess it's the third technically, but the impossible there is the last level and also the first level because this game is interesting. That's a really interesting design decision, honestly. Like, you can take on the lair whenever you want, but you'll have more luck if you do it, you know, when you've got more uh, B Italian members to do it with. Ah! That's not good. I guess I'll see what happens when you die. Yeah, these things are checkpoints. That's exactly what I thought. Alright. Okay, that instantly kills you, so that's that's scary. Um, let's try one more time. Run! That was close. You're so right, Yuka. Ah! Laylee! Get back here. Okay, there's a bell hidden in there, but I don't need one, so that's not too helpful. Oh, hang on, there's something over there. Hmm. Can I get back up? No. Yeah, one thing I don't super like about the Donkey Kong Country style of level design is that it's very easy to miss things and have to replay the level. And I think that has carried across into this game. Um, which I'd find a little frustrating. I suppose it does mean, you know, it encourages you to replay the levels and they're not usually very long. So it's not a huge problem, but, you know, it's just not, not ideal for me, I think. Not, not, not my preferred approach to the video games. Okay, that one doesn't open, so I won't go that way. <laughs> ah! Oh, that actually went lower than I thought it would. No! Okay, so you lose a few quillies when you die, but then you respawn at the last checkpoint. So it's basically just like Odyssey. Like, you just lose a bit of money. I'm really glad this is the way video games work now, because that's way better than having lives. So, that, you know, you get an extra life and all that, and if you run out, you gotta redo a bunch of stuff. This is just massively better than that. This thing's gonna move, isn't it? but I don't know if I can open it or if it's just decorative. So many quillies I've got to collect. I need all the quillies. <laughs> yeah, there's another door there. I feel like I'm missing things. Hmm. Checkpoint. Okay, what do we got here? Can I go through there? No, it's just a place for the swords to hang out. No lizards allowed. What's going on here?
What is this thing? Is this like a secret key or something? Yeah, I think I opened this, this passage with it. Okay, cool. Give me another one of them coins. Heck yeah. Rescued. Army of two. It's, uh... Zingary. <laughs> That's a name. Woohoo! <laughs> oh gosh, the map is getting bigger. My goodness. There we go, this way. Yeah, that's the way I came from. Yeah. Cool. I guess I need to go through the paywall now. Ah, my favorite customers. Ta very much. Okay, so that unlocks more of the world. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're seeing a bunch of levels around the place. And another paywall. Another satisfied customer for Trouser. I see something up there, but I don't think I can reach it yet. Maybe you can get better moves so I can jump higher and climb up there? I don't know. Hey, it's the Tonic Lady! Hey kids, it's me, Vendi. Ugh, I mean, ugh, it's you. I'm here to save your backsides with my game-changing tonics. Oh, I remember those. They were pretty useful. What have you got for us, Fendi? Well, that one's got a Triforce in it. Well, let me show you in the tonic menu. This is the tonic menu. Any tonics you find in the overworld will appear in here. You'll have to buy them first with quills from the chapters, but luckily this one is a freebie. Press A to unlock when you've collected enough quills. Try it now, press A. Laylee panics less and sticks around longer when she's been lost. She needs Laylee bells anyway. Yeah, that sounds good. Great job, you've purchased your first tonic. Press A to select it. Press A to equip it. Excellent job, you equipped the catchy -E tonic. This one will mean Laylee doesn't scare off as easily inside the chapters, giving you longer to save her, Yuka. Who are you saying gets scared off, you big chunk of cheese? <laughs> wow, thanks, Vendi. That actually sounds really useful. You bet. And there are many more where that came from. If you find one in the overworld, always check back in the tonic menu to see what you found. Alright. Um, here's the tonic menu. I think I'll have, yeah, a few of them already unlocked. Uh, the reason for that is I got the DLC pack, which unlocks a few things that be- a few extra tonics for you. I think it's these four is all? Yeah. Let's try Yuga 64. There we go. Um... Uh, did that do anything? Doesn't seem to have- changed anything when I activated that. How do I unequip a tonic? Oh, I just press remove like that. Yeah, I don't think it changed anything. Hmm. Tweet body slam with BL. I'm using ZL, but you know, same basic idea. Hello. Do you want to buy my hint for 10 quills? Nah. Fine, good luck finding somewhere else to spend them. <laughs> well, there are other places in the game I can spend my quills. I've already found one. I can buy tonics with them. I'm guessing... Yeah, I can see a bomb over there. I'm guessing I can use that bomb to break these cracked walls. Like in a Zelda or something. Oh. 
Give me them quills. I got over a thousand of them. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I am really enjoying this so far. I'm hoping you can tell that I'm really appreciating this game. Because it's really cool. Tweet. Pick up berries by pressing R. Press again to throw. Okay, so I can get a bomb berry by the looks of things. And I can spit it. Okay, cool. Now I can go down these stairs. Like a ye olde Zelda or something. Can I take damage in this mode? Okay, I just lose quills. That makes sense, I guess. Okay, we need another bomb plant, so let's get this one. Give me more bombs, give me more bombs. I want to spit bombs at everything. I can see a cracked wall up there, so I'm gonna use a bomb on it. Ooh, tonic. Tonic found, more checkmates. What does that do? Is it, is it like checkpoints? Is that what a checkmate is? Adds more checkmates to the chapter. Dr. Puzz had a few spares lying around. Yeah, it looks like those things are called checkmates. And Dr. Puzz made them, apparently. That's cute. It looks like subtonics reduce the quills you get. Ugh. Yeah, some tonics reduce the quills you get when you have them equipped, and I'm guessing other tonics actually give you more quills when you have them equipped. Hopefully I find those ones, because they sound good. Uh, got a couple of these bees already. One of the older bee Italian members known for delivering zingers and dealing with zingers in a former life. A highland bee that controls rank and formations with an evil iron bee fist. Okay, and then there's the medals here. Army of two, I got that one. Paywalls! Uh, get your first Twit coin. Equip a tonic. A fourth tonic slot? Hmm. I have to be level with two or three tonics equipped, so I suppose I should equip some more tonics, just so I can say that's happened. Uh, let's give Lely a big head. There we go. It might only affect, like... Hang on, I think her head's bigger. Let me just go back and switch it back off and see if I can compare. <laughs> yeah, I think so? It's, it's hard to tell. I'll switch it back on. Uh, there we go. It might only affect, like, actual levels and not the overworld is, is part of the problem, so I'm not quite sure if it's working or not. Hey, Apeji! Oh, it's the chameleon and bat! How exciting! My friends and I have managed to trap some baddies in the realm with us. We can help you on your quest if you fend them off. Do you want to enter my challenge level? Yeah, we're ready. Let's do this! Okay, so we're not collecting the pagey, but the pagey has a level for us. Okay, so I need to defeat these enemies and then... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Look at the sad pageys. Okay, let's try it again. Hopefully it won't have to reload. Yeah, okay, it's nice and quick. Easy to manage. Yeah, that's more like it. There we go, that was easy. I just messed it up because I'm bad at video games. Challenge win, look at the happy pages. Do we get a prize, like a tonic? For example? Fantastic job, you beat the first challenge level. I'll call in the flyer squad and we'll alter the overworld. Check this out. Pagey power! <laughs> oh, okay, they're gonna lower that piece so I can get onto it? 
Yes, okay, okay, I see. I see. Hi, Dr. Paz. Is this chapter three? Yeah, Wild Web Woods. Hmm, there's a tonic right here as well. Tonic, get yeah, it's Twitcoin Banker. I assume that's good. Um, Twitcoin Banker. No longer lose Twitcoins when Yuka dies. Trouser's favorite tonic. Yum. I didn't know that you lost them. I didn't know that happened. Maybe you have to recollect them or something? I don't know. Okay, I've got a level over here. I've got some plants and stuff over here. Can I eat these berries? Are these, are these berries? I can... Mm, doesn't look like it. Maybe in a bit. Maybe I need to unlock something first. Um, okay, well, we're coming up on an hour, so I'm gonna head into probably level 3 and I'm gonna give some thoughts. So far, this game's really impressing me. Um, I think they've really... Like, it's a completely different game to the original ukulele, obviously. Um, I think this game has a lot more direction to it, which is extremely valuable. Um... I, I feel like it's... got a lot more replay value as well, because of the way the tonics work, there's a lot more flexibility in terms of what you do when you play the levels. Um, which is great. Uh... Seems to have a lot of, like, hidden content all over the place, too, which is nice. Look at that big head! <laughs> can I...? Yeah, I can go back and change my tonics. Yeah, um... I still think I can. Can I switch them off? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Look at that gigantic head! <laughs> How do I get up there? I can see there's something up there. Maybe there's, like, a double jump move I'm gonna get, or something. Hmm. But yeah, so this game, it looks great. I'm really impressed with how it plays so far, as well. Oh, okay, that's how you get up there. <laughs> uh, it definitely has extremely strong, like, Donkey Kong Country vibes, which is good because that game is a masterpiece. Um, it definitely reminds me of, say, DKCR and Tropical Freeze and all that. Um, in terms of how it's a little bit updated for modern times. It's got, you know, no lives as well, which is an improvement over those games. Because they did have lives, and I think they shouldn't have, because I think that's silly. Ah! Laylee! I can't tell what she is, because her head's so big. <laughs> Laylee, no! Oh no, Laylee, my friend! I can't- I can't ground pound because I haven't got Laylee. Oh, wow. That is limiting. Oh, wow. I mean, that- that makes sense, because say, say in DKCR, when you lose your buddy, you lose a lot of abilities from having a buddy. So it's fitting that the same thing happens in this game, which is very similar. Um... Uh, but yeah, overall I'm very, very impressed with this game and I look forward to playing more of it. And I'm playing more of it right now as we speak, so... It gives you an idea of how much I look forward to playing it. Because <laughs> I'm playing it. <laughs> uh, is that a death pit down there? Maybe? There might be something down there, but it might just be a death pit, I'm not sure. Hang on, I can't go in this way. Yeah, I think it might be. Big head Laylee, no! I think her hitbox isn't any bigger, even though her head's gigantic, so it's confusing. <laughs> the bell, there we go. Oh, the bells aren't reusable, that's interesting. 
if you ring a bell and it brings Lily back, it goes away. I mean, that makes sense, but I hadn't noticed that because I hadn't actually used the bell for its intended purpose before. Uh, can I spit this thing at you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, Ukulele in the Impossible Lair. It's a game that is a lot like Donkey Kong Country, and it's got the ukulele crew in it, and I'm super impressed with it so far, and I think I would recommend this game, because it looks great. And I've been really enjoying it, and I think they've made some really interesting decisions in terms of modernizing the genre. And all that. And yeah, I appreciate the things they did that are basically the same as in Odyssey, like making the quills just regular money that is the only thing that you lose a little bit of when you die. Although I did mention that you needed a tonic to stop yourself from losing twit coins, but I'm guessing that's just ones that you got like after hitting the last checkpoint or something. Like, um, like in, say, Celeste, when you get a strawberry, you need to like go back and stand on some ground or you don't really get the strawberry, that sort of thing. Um, but you know, I'm just assuming. Can I actually kill these spiders or are they like invincible? Okay, there's quills in there. How do I get that? Hmm. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's it for this game. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope I hope this game looks as cool to you as it does to me, because I think it looks super cool. Uh... Laylee. Oh no. Laylee. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh dear. That's not good. That was the last checkpoint. Okay, it was a little while ago. Um, let me check. Yeah, I kept, I kept the coins. I'm guessing it's just, you have to get back to a checkpoint after you, um get the coins or you lose them, unless you have the tonic enabled. Which is perfectly reasonable, honestly. I mean, it makes it a little bit harder, but, you know, it's, it's reasonable. Oh dear. I'm having problems with this little bit here. Haley, no, come back! Oh. Wow. I'm gonna need to practice that little bit, a bit, I think. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, yeah, uh, thanks for watching.